Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so, so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a transcriber, thank you so, so much for your time, love and support of my channel. I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So today's video is going to be a review and first impressions review, basically, of the Tilly Tan New Ultra Dark Tan and Mousse. I was sent this along with a wee mitt, one of them wee velvet thumb mitts by the lovely Charlotte who runs Tilly Tan. It's her own company she started up during lockdown and she also is on YouTube under the name Absolute Charlotte. I will link down all her information down below, like her Instagram page for both her tan and her personal and also like her YouTube and the Tilly Tan website. So the tan retails for I believe around £13. I will double check and if it's anything more or less I'll put it on the screen but that's much the tan is around 14.50 I believe and the mitts around I think it's about five or six I don't know I will put them down here so that's fairly reasonable price to pay for a good quality tan and it's cheaper than the popular Bondi sands which everyone seems to love and I think it might be a bit better quality than Bondi sands because it, dry, it dries quite quick and whereas Bondi sands tend to take ages dry unless you get the Earl mousse which is dear than the regular mousse so it works like cheaper if you like a Bondi Sands tan and just want to try something a bit cheaper but good this is good quality I would definitely recommend Tilly Tan Flat and the packaging now mine is Mikey now because I have used it twice I actually am wearing two layers of the Ultra Dark Tan now some people may not think of me as that tan but bear in mind I'm naturally very white I can feel I'm very very pale so i'm like an nc10 in mac which is like not the very very pale but close to it there's foundation shades even pale in nc10 so i'm definitely not the lightest skin tone but closer to it if that makes sense so i am very pale naturally so for that in mind two layers of this gives me a proper good ultra tan now one there is very dark i would say in my opinion they've tried slightly darker ones that's given me that in one layer but it is very very close to the darker tans i've tried but two layers, which I normally do for nights out anyway, this gives me the proper ultra tan I absolutely love. Like this is beautiful and for no orange or no warm or no like red tones in it, it's worth it and it's absolutely beautiful. And the tan dries in so quickly, like the tan just goes, when you put it on, it literally just, it gives you enough time to work with it. So it's easily blendable, but see once you blend it in and you're happy with it, dry it in, you just put your jammies on and that's you sort of like. Where some tans or my tans, you have to wait around, you're like this. When's it going to dry? When's it going to dry? This one dries like really, really quick, which I actually love. And the colour payoff it gives. Because sometimes when you get a tan, it dries really quick. It doesn't give you much colour. But this one really does. It gives you really, really good colour. And you will see clips of me when I plait and after, before and after one coat and then two coats, which is now because I rinse off my second coat. This isn't actually isn't even the guy colour, this is actually the colour it comes out with. Now normally when I have two coats on when I'm going on night out, I wear the second guy colour out. Whereas now because I did do my tan last night I didn't have to do that. Just rinse it off and put some moisturizer on. And it's given me such a lovely, lovely dark colour. Now the lights, I've got lights on, so I've got light up here, like my normal ceiling light and also like my ring light, just to give you a better idea of the colours and to stop any other shadows coming into this video. I should have probably made sure to charge my wee um, portable charger to use for ring light because my sockets in this house are crap. But I oh, rem remember that for next time. But um, yes, we can get a true representation of the um, colour. Now, now I do have it on warm light because what I do have my ring light on cool or like white light it just washes out the tan and doesn't give you a true representation of that tan and just makes it look a lot lighter than what it actually is and that is crap for a review and i do have the light simmed a little bit so you can see the color because obviously when you brighten the lights up it gives you just makes a color wash out of you and as you can tell for me this tan is properly dark now it does look darker in person what it does in the lights but is as close to true as I can get it in this lighting and in this camera. And um, the packaging, as I said before, is beautiful and it's girly and it's sleek. I did do like 
reviews on this in more clips of Mia Planet, so I'm just gonna briefly show you. And yeah, I absolutely love the layout and the aesthetic of the packaging. Charlie did an amazing job with his tan, and yeah, I just love it, love it, love it. And I'll show you in the mitt. It's in this thing, but I will have clips of me showing it properly, so I'm not gonna really show you it in this clip. But I'm gonna cut to the clips of me before, during, and after. So, hi. So I'm here to show you the before I've already this tan and to show you the product. So. I've got most of my tan scrubbed off. I'm actually very pale, so I couldn't get all the tan I had on last Saturday off. But for reference, I am like an NC10 and Mac, so very pale, but not the very palest, if that makes sense. And right now, with the tanniest bit of tan left on my skin, I'm about an NC13. Before I like to get into a doom tan, I love to use a moisturiser, so I'm using this Johnson's Oil and Lotion Vita Rich body lotion I think it's called yeah it is and you can use whatever moisturizer you like before I've been on a scented one get a non-scented one one that'll suit your skin type I tend to get dry here so like the armpit like that area thing here like around this size of the shoulders I'm just gonna say it like that and then I get dry around the elbows the neck area and I also like to put a bit of moisturizer on my face to stop it from going to dark and patchy. I put the moisturizer also on my knees and feet and ankles. Just anywhere I get dry. You don't want to be applying the moisturizer all over your body because that will stop the tan developing. But on drier areas, you need a bit of moisturizer just to um, stop it from developing too dark on them areas because drier skin, the tan gets in darker and it can go patchier on drier skin. So it's also important to moisturize. Exfoliate in the shower beforehand to use a good like exfoliation mitt or one of them big shower sponges with the wee scary part on one end of it. That's what I use and it's really, really good. So without further ado, I'm going to get on to a planned tan. So I've got my towel around me to protect the modesty area and I'm just going to apply, not all over my I'll show you all over but I will be applying it off camera all over. So I'm going to show you the um, chest, the arms and the face but first I have to do my moisturiser so taking about that much from my face. Just work it. And all over the face and get to your ears and also down and around the neck area. And then just work it onto my hands too. Then remember to tell you about the hands to put moisturizer layer too because that's where the tan gathers as well. So all over there. And have my wee Frenchy son Horton here too. And also I'm gonna put a little bit on my elbows. This is quite a new but also it's squirting out loads <laughs> and I have to really try hard to control it. So a little bit round the elbows and excess just on the hands and also down the wrists like that. Okay, so once that's all done, I'm now ready to tan. So, obviously going in with Tilly Tan, shaking it up. You always want to shake your bottle up before you pump it out. Grab your mitt and I'm going to pray to God I don't want to stain anything in my room because I haven't put towels down. I'm just going to take the cap off and pump out about three pumps to go on my chest. I don't really care if it gets on this towel because it'll be thrown in the wash anyway, so court and calm down please baby. So yeah, I do like to take about three pumps from my chest either side because that's where my tan doesn't stick to as well and also in the backs. And that actually is a lovely lovely guy colour. So it is. Okay, so I love the colour came out in my chest. I don't worry, I'll be doing the back and everything. It's lovely olivey, dark guy colour. It's hard to really see in this lighting because I know I'm crap with 
like charging my wee um portable charger to put the ring light on so excuse the lighting but i'm going to work on to the arm area so do it about two and a bit pumps because i like to have dark tan this mitt is actually lovely and the tan is lovely to apply i'm so scared my towel's gonna slip so i'm gonna just do it quickly i should have probably really wore one of them tops on Okay, so that's it roughly applied under one arm. I'm going to go off camera and apply it all over. And I'll come back with the towel on to show you what it's like. Okay, so that's the tan completely applied. I do um an actual layer on my chest and also on my arms. Because when the mitt is new, it tends to soak up the tan. So I'll have to apply more to get a better like result. Just to get more of the tan on my skin and less in the actual mitt. So... Yeah, that's with all mitts, just not this one, but that's with all mitts, any type of mitt, any type of tan. When the mitts new, it does tend to sink in to the mitt, and then once it's all sunken in, the mitts applies more product onto your skin, as just the way it is. And yeah, the tan looks like a lovely, not too dark guy colour, it's like a nice olivey, like a warm olive guy colour, as you can tell. And it's beautiful, and... It dried on quite quickly. It smells really nice and florally and it was easy enough to apply so I'm happy with that and it feels nice on. It doesn't feel like really dry or anything but it does dry quickly so it's one of them good tans. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my pyjamas, sleep in this tan. It is like near enough 8 o'clock at night time and I'll come back either in the morning or early afternoon where I've washed off the tan and I'll show you what the um, overall results are. I might come in before I go to wash it off and see how dark it looks before I wash it off. And then I'll come back once I've washed it off and I have makeup on and look somewhere half decent, not like this. But yeah, I'll be back and see you when I see you. Okay, so excuse this crappy winter lighting, it's the next morning. So I did take the time off of my face with a wipe just this morning to put moisturiser on before I go to the gym. I'm in the middle of getting ready for the gym. I decided to put that um, gym t-shirt on and then brush this hair and tie it up because I did like air drop last night so it's a bit crazy. <laughs> Try to fix it and yeah. Tan came out really really well. Like I always looked at it on my face because I took it off my face but it always does that anyway to me anyway. But um, obviously it's still got the guy colour on my body and all because I'll be washing it off after I come back and shower at the gym so yeah it's a lovely lovely colour and I can't wait to see what it's going to be like I am going to do another layer like tonight because I'm going out tomorrow night so I'm going to do another layer to see what's like double coated I'm sure it'll be lovely definitely I actually look darker in person when I do in this camera so this camera isn't really doing it justice but yeah I absolutely love it so far okay so it's several hours later and um here's tan so basically they came out a nice dark color i'll just open up the sleeves and show you so that's what it looks like it doesn't look as dark on camera as what it does in person but you can still see how dark it actually is but it is a bit darker in real life it's nice i love the color it's really like a nice goldeny olivey color which i love and um i'm going to do one more there i've decided i'm going to do one more there and do a full body layer before going out tomorrow. Well, I'm doing it tonight for tomorrow. And then I'm going to just obviously wash her off in the shower, the guy colour. And then put the moisturiser on. Same step as I did today to wash off the first guy colour. And then we'll come back when the tans are all done. And that will be my final result. I probably will, to be fair, come back when I have the tan applied. When I'm in the pyjamas. Like the second layer to, see, to show you how dark the... um guy colour is over top of this tan and yeah I'm excited to see well, how dark I can actually get excuse the redness on my face but this face has been really red today um sometimes I guess I got randomly but probably because I had heating on all day and the uh, heating all day like really does um make my skin feel really really red I've got some moisturiser in here and it's not long putting it on so yeah that's probably why I've been rubbing my face to put moisturiser on that's probably why it looks more red and stuff but not the tan, thoughts, just my skin, just 
act up sometimes. So yeah, I'll come back once tan is applied. That yeah, are there. So yeah. Okay, so I've just got um that second layer applied and it looks really, really, really dark, like alt dark. And that's my arm. As you can tell, a lovely olive alt dark tan and I can't wait. Cannot wait to see what it's like. Like even one layer is like super dark, but two layers gotta be proper, proper ultra dark, ultra dark, pretty much like the darkest possible. So we cannot wait to see what it's gonna be like once it rinses it off. It's just I'm looking forward to it. And I have an eye out plan for tomorrow. I know sorry my eyes look a bit squinty because I'm looking to see where I'm I'm trying to like look at the camera, but I'm trying to look here too. I have a bad habit looking at the screen and I'm not looking at the camera, it's bad. But yeah. So yeah, I actually like the colour, like it's really, really nice. I tried in really quickly, even with that second layer using the same mitt I used last night. I didn't, didn't clean the mitt from last time because I don't really clean the mitt after every use, after every three uses I clean it. And um, yeah, so because I find if you clean it all the time, like every use, I don't really get as much of an impact of the tan where like, say if it's the same tan I used like a few days a week before that, I need to see a mitt and then I find the tan goes on darker compared to like a brand new clean mitt. But obviously I clean it after like three to four uses. So yeah. Um, yeah, just have to wait and see what it's going to be like tomorrow. Hi, so um, that's the second layer I'll rinse off. And excuse the bad lighting. I keep on saying that for the video, but it's just the way it is winter lighting. But um, it's a lovely ultra dark colour. I absolutely love the colour of this tan. Charlotte did an amazing, amazing job by creating this tank. It's absolutely beautiful. Like um, the olive tone and all to it as well. And two layers definitely gives you a like, proper full on ultra dark. One layer is really dark too, but like two layers is definitely like that ultra dark colour which I look for. And I'm about to get ready to go on night out. That's why I have a top around me. But I can't wait to put my makeup on and come back for the final show off of the tan. But it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. So yeah. Hi peeps, so it is the end of the night, it's after 11 o'clock and I know when we come on here and I'll show you the final result of the tan it's because I was getting in such a rush to get myself ready for this night out and this channel here is doing my head in I was getting in such a rush to get ready and all and then get a chance to just come on here and talk to you with the tan but I absolutely love it, definitely I prefer it with two layers one layer is like more of a natural look but two layers, both of them are still dark but two layers get me that proper proper dark tan like ultra ultra dark which i love and i think in future when i'm doing the tan i'll be doing two layers at night time not one layer of a fancy something like just a tan all wear for it to wake but if i'm going out somewhere really like a night out i would definitely do two layers of it because it is lovely tan so it's good like so it's good that it could be buildable like one layer can get you a normal dark and then two layers can get you like a crazy ultra dark so i love it it's a really, really good tan and it goes really well with the foundation I'm wearing, which is NARS Natural Radiant in Aruba. It's a new foundation I'm testing as well too. It matches really well with this tan. So if you're any similar skin tone to me and you wear a tan, like a dull shark tan, and you're looking for a foundation flat tan, NARS Aruba, definitely. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what my dress and all looks like in this tan and how the tan goes with my outfit and all. I'm wearing like a nice lilac off the shoulder dress and... I absolutely am obsessed with the lilac and the tan. The tan just pops with the lilac. The lilac and tan just go really well together. And this dress really shows how olive and beautiful and deep and dark this tan really is. So Charlotte, you've done an amazing, amazing job of this tan. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to shut up now and show you in a film where what the dress and all looks like with the tan. And just show you the, the true darkness of the tan obviously it won't chop really really true because it is winter lighting and winter lighting is just crap i'm sorry about that but i'll try my best to show you in the best light i can now i do look lighter in the camera where in real life really life i look darker so i think let me see that's how you look in real life i think yeah it is so if you're watching that's how dark the tan it's hard to really show you that's what the tan looks in real life. It's really, really lovely and dark and all of it. Yeah, that's it. So I'm really, really pleased. So I'm going to shut up now and just show you in the full light. So here's a full length video of the tan. So the dress I'm wearing, if you're wondering where it's from, it's from Boohoo. I got it in January sales. 
and I absolutely love it. It goes really well with the tan. The tan just looks beautiful all over. My arms have turned out really dark. The chest has too. You know, normally my chest does come up paler than the rest of me, but obviously when I put two layers of the tan on, it isn't as bad. It actually blends in really well. Now when I put my first layer on, it was a bit paler on my arms. But that happens with near enough any tan. I have to always put a gradual on my chest to get the match up. But with two layers of this tan, didn't need to do this this time. I had to just basically wash it off, put moisturiser on and went. So that was really good. Didn't need to bother with gradual or worry about my um, clothes getting stained with the tan or anything. Because, yeah, tan is that good. Like, it's really, really amazing. I love it. Like, these match up so well. Like, so well. So, um, you know, when you're getting ready, you just make a mess with makeup, hair products, skin care etc 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 i'm a girl and i'm no different i'm a girly's girl <laughs> around so yeah that's just a better idea my legs came out so so well i'll show you this one here and yeah my husband's shoes and all my shoes are all everywhere my slippers too and yes i'm going to be getting into the slippers after this because it's after the night out <laughs> and i can't wait to get myself into comfy clothes so yeah just love this tan. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who loves a proper ultra dark tan. And even if you want it more of a natural tan, you can just put a light layer of this tan on or like get one of their lighter colours like the dark or the medium. If you like a really natural subtle tan, I'd recommend the medium one. Just Charlotte has done an amazing, amazing job of creating this Tilly tan. I absolutely love Tilly tan now. I'm hooked on it. I really, really am. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for sending this out, Charlotte, and yes, absolutely love it. I'm loving life now. Now, final thoughts on this tan. Do I think it's worth it? Definitely. This tan is definitely, definitely worth it. Now, I can't speak on the wear time because I haven't worn for a full week or a few days, so it could be not so great for me for wear time. But then, then again, I do have a fast skin cell turnover, so tans do tend to fade quite quickly on me, unfortunately, because my skin tends to renew itself really quickly, which is a positive thing, it keeps me looking young. So, um, yeah, but that's so great for tans. <laughs> so it's like swings and roundabouts, really. So, um, from first impressions, we'll say it's worth it, definitely. If you love an off dark tan like myself and you want to want to like dry it really quickly, this is for you, definitely. If you love a proper olive with a slight bit of gold into it, tan, you will love this. This is a proper olive tan. Like, these undertones are so right. There's no hint of orange whatsoever in this tan. Like, this tan yeah, is beautiful. And it's crazy there's people downstairs. My husband, oh, my husband has his friend over and he was mine when we went out. We actually went out in a night out, if I haven't mentioned before. So, um, yeah. Like, there's no hint of orange in night hand whatsoever. It's a beautiful olive tan. And it matches up with my foundation beautifully. If you're wearing my foundation, I'm wearing it to the NARS Natural Radiant in Aruba, which is a perfect match for the two layers of this tan. Now, what I would do going forward is do two layers in one light, definitely. So, this is going to be for you if you love an olive tan and you love, like, a really dark tan, like, olive dark tan and it dries quickly you'll love it an affordable tan like it suits so most budgets it's definitely for you because it's not gonna be too dear for like it's not gonna be like a Santa Pays level of dear like for me to get this proper olive tan i'd have to pay like Santa Pay price or bondi sands to get this true olive color and for 13 pounds around that mark and get that and i absolutely love it it's just beautiful now, if you don't like an off dark tan or even the dark tan, they do have medium, as I said before. So, if you did accidentally buy an off dark tan, it's not going to be for you. If you're expecting like a nice, easy, medium, natural looking tan, it's, you're going to get dark, dark girl. But, and if you like a tan that's really, really moisturising, that like, get the wee ages for it to dry, it's just so moisturising and nourishing the skin. This is going to dry quickly on you and especially if you've got really dry skin i would definitely recommend the moisturize like your dry areas before and your whole body after you rinse it off because that's with any time but with me 
I did find a lovely dryness, but most talent do that to me anyway, and some more than other ones. I find the fast dry ones do it more than the, the slow drying ones, but it swings and roundabouts. I'd rather have a tan that dries them really quickly, it doesn't go blotchy on me, than a tan they like, have to like wait ages and waste time to let it dry then and have it be really moisturising. Now if I can get the best of both worlds, that's amazing. But this one when I put a bit of moisturizer on it was okay, but then there was a bit of a little, a little bit of dryness in my skin, but it wasn't too bad. A bit of moisturizer fixed it and that was fine. But just my skin type is more of a drier skin type, so bear that in mind. If you've got really dry skin, even if you go to tan that night, say for instance, you get a shower in the morning exfoliate and all. If you've got really dry skin, I recommend doing a light lotion all over moisturization after you exfoliate and get out of the shower. The morning before you do your tan and wait a couple of hours, at least an hour or two. Do your tan. Say for instance you do your moisturizer at night. You do your moisturizer at morning, sorry, and then you do your tan at night and that'll make your skin more moisturizing and it'll help your tan become more even and it'll stop your your skin from being feeling really, really, really dry because there's people who have way drier skin than me in this world and that's what I recommend to do is moisturize in the morning before you do your tan and do your tan at night and then sleep in your tan and then um, wash it off the next morning and you'll have a lovely olivey dark dark ultra dark tan and no dryness but yeah if you have oil your skin you don't really need, necessarily need to do, do a full body moisturization but just moisturize the dry areas like your elbows your knees and your hands and stuff and your face but yeah I love this tan because there's loads of different options. There's three different options in this tan range and I think she might bring out more, you never know in the future. And um the mousse is so easy to use, it's full proof basically, just a couple of pumps on each area and the mitt's really easy to use too. It glides the tan on really, really well, this mitt. This velvet mitt. I'm not gonna open up because it's like been using the have a lilac dress on. But this velvet mitt is so easy to use, like it is so easy to use, I absolutely love it. Like it just, it's beautiful, it absolutely feels beautiful on your skin. And it blends the tan in so seamlessly. Like you're better off investing in a good velvet mitt than paying for a foam mitt, because a foam mitt lasts you about five um, uses if you're lucky and you have to throw it out and buy a new one. Whereas a velvet mitt, I've had velvet mitts. Like one of them I have on my counter, counter like chest drawers. I've had that for like three years until it's going strong. Now, obviously it isn't performing as good as what it was when I first got it, but it still applies in time quite well. Where if I had a phallic tan mitt that long, it'll be ripped to pieces and shreds. I wouldn't even be able to use it like long, long ago. So it's worth it to invest in a good quality mitt. So I definitely recommend that mitt. So um, thank you so, so much to Charlotte for sending me these products out. I'm just so grateful and I'm happy enough to do this with you. I'm just... I'm so pleased if I the tan turned out so dark and so ultra dark, it's beautiful. And you've done an amazing, amazing job with this tan, Charlotte. Beautiful tan. You've nailed it, girl. You really, really have nailed it. Now if I could add something I would say to add some more moisturizing ingredients in your tan. But that's only con I'd have with it. But apart from that, this tan's beautiful. It absolutely is beautiful. So, um thank you so much. And I'm so hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all soon. God bless. Stay gorgeous. Bye.